wait, wait. Okay, now first, check for danger. No falling plaster, no live wires. My leg! My leg! Okay, uh, now question the patient. Ask her where it hurts. Where does it hurt? My leg! She appears to have injured her leg. Is she okay? I think it's broken. Okay, we're gonna have to splint the leg before we transport her. Don't move, I'll call an ambulance. No, 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 Vinny, Vinny, it's okay. You don't have to call an ambulance. My leg's not really broken. We're just pretending. Pretending? They're practicing for a first aid exam at the hospital. Someone at Wallaby Park has to have a first aid certificate or we'll get closed down. You do know you're supposed to tie bandages in a reef knot, not a bow. Bows look nicer. So when's the exam? This afternoon. You think you'll be ready? Absolutely. We know the manual backwards. Where in the manual does it recommend you tie a broken leg to a ladder? Just think, people's lives might depend on those two. Scary, isn't it? Snake bite? Spider bite? Mm, that'll make you foam at the mouth. You must have been poisoned. What sort of poison? Mum! Ugh, he's got some sort of hideous disease. I was bitten by a sick bat and caught rabies. Rabies doesn't turn your skin yellow. I've, I've also got yellow fever. We don't have rabies or yellow fever in Australia. What if we were visited by a tourist who caught them overseas? Mummy, Mummy! I found a tick behind my ear! Not now, darling. We're dealing with Greg's rabies. But it really hurts and it's causing this big lump to swell up. You're just going to have to hold on, Gemma. Ten out of ten for your acting, though. I'm not acting. There really is a tick. Fantastic. Hey, you're right. It's dug in pretty deep, too. Get it out quickly. Oh, no, what if the poison reaches my brain? No, I don't notice. Greg. Hold still, Gemma. Mummy. All right, darling. Chris knows what he's doing, I think. Got it. You have to twist it clockwise. I thought it was anti-clockwise. Just do it, please. Oh. Oh. Ow! Hey, the tick came out. You're right, it was clockwise. Oh. What disease is that supposed to be? <laughs> It's breaking the pain barrier, trying to get that extra 10%. 10% of what? Energy. There's a big cross-country race this afternoon. <laughs> I've come second two years in a row. This is definitely my year. Isn't anybody working today? I'm starting to get complaints from the animals. They're hungry and they want their breakfast. If I could feed the dingoes, I'm very good with dogs. You just have to let them know who's boss. Bad dog, bring that back. Bring back my bag. Please, it's got my homework in it. Greg, get out of the enclosure quickly. But he's eating my maths assignment. Now, Greg. <laughs> my homework. Forget that, mate. You gotta watch dingoes. Especially when they're feeding. They can easily take your hand off. You're kidding. Always feed them from outside the enclosure and keep the gate locked at all times. Last thing we want is for people around here to be attacked by dingoes. Come on, Greg. The bus is here. We're gonna have to run. <laughs> What should I tell Mr. White about my homework? Tell him the truth. He'll understand. Do you really think so? Of course. Dingoes are total scavengers. They'll eat anything. Even homework? You name it, they'll eat it. Hey, Kingy, ready for another second this year? Meet Brad Cooper, school athletic champ, an ace big head. But nothing would be better than to watch him eat my dust. <laughs> Remember, these assignments on using maps and compass will count 10% towards your overall result. You may now look at your marks. 10 out of 10. The perfect score. Sometimes, even I'm amazed at how good I am. Two and a half out of 10? What a dumb test. Mrs. Krantz is really gonna have to lift her game if she wants to become a good teacher. <laughs> right. Let's get ready for the cross-country. Please take out your sports clothes. 
Yes, Gemma. I'm sorry, Mrs. Krantz, but I'm unable to participate in the race today. Oh? As an act of kindness, I donated all my sports clothes to needy children living in deprived circumstances. Really? There's no way I'm going to let it get out of this one. Mark. It's OK, Mrs. Krantz. I've got some spare joggers and stuff in my bag. Gemma can use it. Excellent. Isn't it lucky you've got such a thoughtful cousin, Gemma? There's no way I'm going to let him get me into this. Yes, Gemma. I'm sorry, Mrs. Krantz, but I'm also medically incapacitated today. I was attacked by a tick this morning and required substantial first aid. Oh, really? How awful, you poor girl. Luckily, oxygenation of the blood is just the thing for tick bites, and I can't think of anything better than a good healthy run. So, if you'll all go and get yourselves changed, we'll meet at the gate in 15 minutes. <laughs> Good, good, very good. I don't see any homework on your desk. No, sir. I was sick last night. I had one of those eight-hour tummy bugs. Again? I brung a note, sir. Dear Mr White, I was sick last night, so I couldn't do me maths. Signed, Mrs Congalupo. Well, your mother can be excused, Gavin, but you will have to stay in at lunchtime. This is unlike you, Greg. No homework. No, sir. I hope you have a better excuse than Gavin. Yes, sir. Well? A dingo ate it. I beg your pardon? A dingo ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys and girls, tucker time. Come on, Henry, aren't you hungry? Ah! Hey, you all right, Betty? Henry just took a piece out of me. Gabriella, bring the first aid kit over. How exciting. Our first real wound. Congratulations, Vinny. Thanks. I'm honoured. Right. Cleanser. Ointment. Bandage. Yeah, perfect. You sure this is necessary? We've done it by the book, Vinny. We're getting rather good at this. Mm. This is all your fault, Henry. Next time you bite, I'm gonna get them to come and bandage you. You better warm up, hadn't you? I'm not running. Huh? I said I would complete the course. I didn't say anything about running. All right, everyone, pay attention, please. Principal. This year, we're introducing a new feature to the cross country. We won't just test your strength and speed, we'll also test your intelligence and initiative. <laughs> well, that rules my king out. It's called orienteering, and it's a wonderful way to use your new knowledge of maps. This doesn't sound like sport to me. And to make it even more fun, we're putting you in teams of two. Now, each team will get a set of map coordinates. When you reach the checkpoint, consult your map for the return journey. Any questions? Yeah, uh, who's my lucky teammate and what's a coordinate? Uh, Amanda will explain that to you, Brad. She's your teammate. But she can't run. Beauty. This could work out perfectly after all. But she can read a map. We've selected teams on the results of your assignments. So we've had a low mark and a high mark in each pair. Who am I with? Well, uh, we have a king with the lowest mark and a king with the highest mark. So it's a team of kings. <laughs> now remember, everyone. Teamwork and initiative will win the day. This, this is, is so, so unfair. unfair. If you boys have homework, I expect you to do it. I did do it. It's not my fault the dingo ate it. It's a simple matter of responsibility. You have to learn to be responsible. I am responsible. You saw how I fed the dingoes, gave them water. I did everything Vinny asked. After you finish this, you can go and clean up around the front gate. The gate? Did I lock the gate? Keep the gate locked at all times. Last thing we want is for people around here to be attacked by dingoes. Be attacked by dingoes. Be attacked by dingoes. I couldn't have left it open, could I?
right, Greg? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. All right. Now, can we all turn to page 42 of our textbooks? Of course I remember to shut the gate. It's a habit, like putting on your underpants every morning. <gasps> no undies. This calls for desperate action. <laughs> Teams, we'll leave at one minute intervals. Brad and Amanda, you lead off. Now keep to the trails and follow your coordinates. Amanda, come on. We don't know where we're going. We'll hurry up. Come on, then run. Fantastic. They haven't got a chance. If you even dare to talk to me like that, I'll make sure we never make it to the checkpoint. I am your teammate. I'm your best buddy. No need to go that far. Uh, Mark and Gemma, you're next. Gemma, where are you going? To get my emergency supply. Oh, brilliant. I don't think to bring water. Gemma, wait. Look, we don't even know where to go. Just follow our mother. That's cheating. Now you just lie down there, Greg, and loosen your shirt. I don't want to lie down. I want to go home. Take it easy, mate. I'm just going to go and call your mother. Oh, no. What about Mum and Chris? <laughs> It. What was that? It sounds like dingoes. But they're locked away, safe and secure in their pet. Somebody must have left the gate open. We have to get out of here. There's no one answering. There has to be. It can't be true. It's all right, Greg. She's probably out doing the shopping or something. I have to go home. I can't let you go home if there's no one there to look after you. What about Gemma? Gemma can look after me. Sorry, Gemma's out running around in the bush. Gemma? What's that noise? Don't worry, there's nothing in this bush that can harm you. Ah! I think we'd better take you to see a doctor. I want to go home. I have Everything's to gonna be fine, Greg. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Just leave everything to me. I tell you what, you, you stay in here and, 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 and I'll sort everything out, okay? This is a disaster. What's happened to Mum? And what about Gemma? Move it, Gemma. Give it 110%. It is scientifically impossible to give more than 100%. Well, you're not even giving 20%. Run. Well, don't you want to win? No. Why should I want to win? Winning is for losers. What are you looking in there for? Water. I didn't bring water. I thought you said you had emergency supplies. I do. Magazines, my purse, sunscreen, chocolate. You're hopeless. Be careful, there's a mirror in there. I figured out a way to get ahead of Brad and Amanda. We can cut across country here. I thought we weren't allowed to leave the trails. We also have to use our initiative. So why don't we walk up to this road and catch a bus here? That's cheating. I'd call it cunning money. Anyway, we could buy a drink at the shop and I'd even lend you the money for the bus ticket. No way. We're taking the bush route. Well, I'm taking the bus route. <coughs> Bye. Kate. Can I see you, please? Yes, sir. That'll do, Kate, just where you're standing. Is something wrong, Mr. Wyatt? Um, you, you haven't noticed a, um, a yellow rash on your skin, have you? No, sir. Good. Good, good. Well, I'm afraid Greg is sick, and we've called an ambulance to take him to the hospital, and I want you to keep him company. <laughs> It's all right, Greg, just rest. I don't want to rest, I want to go home! Is there anything you can do for him? Can you give him a sedative? We have far more effective treatments than that. Snake bite. Pressure bandage down the limb. Choking. Uh, 
Um, open the mouth. Yes. Check for blockages. Yes. Um, Some poor unfortunate after hospital. Hope they're not badly hurt. Mm. Marky, master navigator and endurance athlete, reaches the checkpoint. What a triumph. What a champion. What kept you? How did you get here? I told you the bus was quicker. What's Amanda doing here and not with Brad? He made her run across country. Look at her legs. I fell in some nettles. Brad just abandoned Amanda here. The pig. How long ago did he leave? Ten minutes. Down that trail? We can still beat him if we cut down through the gully and then up the ridge. You're out of your mind. There's no way I'm going through that jungle. Besides, I have to help Amanda get up to the road so she can catch a bus back to school. OK, see you back there then. Mark, don't go down there. It looks dangerous. It will be a cinch. Piece of cake. You never listen, do you? OK, I tripped. It could happen to anyone. Ow. You just sit there and stay with Amanda. I'll run and I'll get some help. One minute was normal, and then he fell on the floor and had his weird foot. Don't worry, we'll look after him. Can I please go home now? Not until we've had you checked out by the doctor. It might take a little while, I'm afraid. We've had a lot of casualties today. That means the dingoes have escaped from the park. They're attacking people outside. What have I done? Trevor, what's another thing you're doing out here? And why are you hitchhiking? I'll explain as we walk. This way, Molly. But we're due at the hospital. We've got our first aid exam. Oh, good. Bring your kit. Mark's injured his ankle and Amanda's hurt too. Come on. OK. I have to conduct some first aid exams now. Another nurse will be with you in a moment. Chris and Gabrielle will be doing those tests. I'll go and find them. Perfect. Now to get out of here and go home at last. Hi, Greg. How are you feeling? How about you sit back on the bed while I take your temperature? <laughs> Nearly finished. Just a bit of dirt to get off. Gemma, pass your mum those dock weeds. I'll take the pain away. Excellent. Better? Mm. Ow! Don't bind it too tightly, Chris. You don't want to cut off his circulation. Good point. I don't believe this. Mummy's so confident. Of course, I always knew she had it in her. What a team. You're really going to fly through this exam. We're going to be late. Not a problem. Your temperature's normal. Does that mean I can go home? Not until you've seen a doctor. Chris and Gabrielle aren't here. I've looked everywhere. I knew it. It's all my fault. Your fault? Why is it your fault? I left the gate to the dingo enclosure open this morning. So? Listen, there's more victims arriving. As soon as the doctor examines me, he'll know I'm not sick. Then everyone will know it was me who let the dingoes out. What is it, Greg? I'll have to run away to another country. I'll have to grow a beard and dedicate my life to doing good deeds. Greg, what is it? Answer me. Kate, I need your help. What sort of help? I can't explain why, but I just need you to get me out of here. <laughs> Cut through that bush and you'll end up at school. And tell Mrs. Cramps about Mark and Amanda. Don't worry, I'll tell her everything. Good luck with the exam. If we make it. You cheated. I'm going to dob you in, Pommy girl. Oh, do you know what? If you do, I'll have to tell them about how you left Amanda injured in the bush, won't I? Anything wrong, Brad? No, nothing. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Chris, we can still make it. What about us two? <laughs> Where are we? There's 
the next stop here. I'm checking to see if the coast is clear. Kate, what are you doing here? Um... Uh... <coughs> Kate! Kate, can you hear me? I hit my head, not my ear. Are you right, Amanda? Mark? Mum, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. Why shouldn't I...? What are you doing here? And why are you under that sheet? It looks like you folks need some help. Thanks. Kate's just bumped her head, but there's no signs of concussion or bleeding. And Amanda's suffering from nettle rash and a few cuts and abrasions. And we think Mark may have sprained his ankle, but it'll need checking. OK. I'll take care of things from here. Good. Could you tell us where the first aid examinations are taking place? I'm afraid you're too late. The test is over. Does this mean we'll have to close Wellby Park? Well, no certificate means we won't be allowed to stay open. Those dressings there are very impressive. They're your work? Well, as it happens, I'm the first aid examiner. I think I can safely award passes to both of you. <laughs> Top work, Mum. What are you doing here? That's what I want to know. It's a long story, Gabriella. That's all right. We've got plenty of time. But I thought it was supposed to be a team event. How come you got this? Brad and I both got one for crossing the line together. But you got a lift in Chris's car. That's cheating. Well, I was going to tell the truth. But then that would have meant Brad would have got the first on his own. After the awful way he treated Amanda, there was no way I was going to let him win that one. That's fair. I think. Too right, that's fair. Brad would hate dead heating with a girl. It's worse than losing. I knew I closed it. I'm not an idiot after all. Did you count the bingos when you fed them this morning? No. Always do a head count. We wouldn't want one escaping and attacking the tourists, would we? Oh, look at that puppy. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh.